What's up? This is Squire2448 with a Farming Simulator 17 modding video. Today we'll be building and converting this Dodge Mega Cab work truck. This was one of my favorite trucks back in FS15 and when I did try to convert it using the scripts it did crash my game so we'll be basing this off of a fully functioning truck in FS17. So we'll select this and we'll be bringing it down onto the wheelbase here and I think we'll get the front lined up and then we'll be moving the back. That's what I've been doing lately. So we'll kind of select this and we will be moving this back and credits go to the creator for making this awesome truck back in FS15. I really do like uh, converting a lot of the awesome trucks over and everything like that. So I think we'll lower this down. That looks pretty good right there. And we will actually be getting larger wheels and everything like that. So we'll come over here and we will select these left rear. We'll move this all the way back. Center it. That looks pretty good. We'll copy the Z and we'll paste it on to this Z. Making sure that they are both the same distance Back. And you guys can see it's a mega cab and this will be one of the only crew cab uh, trucks for the lawn care shop and yes we will be adding it to that. So next we'll go to file import and we will be importing these dodge wheels. Now these wheels look pretty cool. They are a little bit larger than the wheels that are on the truck right now which are Chevy wheels since we are basing this off of a Chevy we built but we'll kind of select this and we'll just kind of move it out take a look at the wheel size difference I will have to do a little bit of scripting change to make sure that the wheels won't be going in the ground anything like that but when you do change tires you do need to make sure that they are in the same location or they will wobble and that won't be uh, looking good when you're driving down the road so we'll just put all these to zero and on this truck I really do like how it's set up it's a transform and then inside it is all four wheels that's a little bit easier when you do try to change out the wheels but let me know guys should I do a modding tutorial on how to do some work in FS 17 giant setter I think that would be pretty cool but we got that built we'll delete that and take a look at that truck guys that looks pretty cool next up we'll come back here we'll just make sure that the uh, attacher joints are where they need to be we'll take a look looks like that's in the center yeah that looks to be in the center it might be just a little off but it looks good next up we'll go to the bumper pull attacher joints that looks to be good awesome so next up guys we will actually be moving this and since there is no interior of you we will actually be making this a backup camera I think that will be pretty cool to do so we'll be putting this to zero turning that camera around and I'm thinking we'll put it right above here because some of the new trucks now do have a camera right over here and then one back here so I'm actually thinking instead we'll bring this over here so let's kind of bring it over I would like to change it up and actually yeah so I think yeah we'll have a backup camera and then I will be scripting in another hood camera which will be pretty cool so we'll probably keep this like this that looks awesome we'll center it with the dodge symbol that looks good next up we do actually have to move these wheels out a little so we'll move these out we want them to be the same exact so we'll go to the front and we'll be taking a look that looks awesome I would like them to stick out just a little but these are stock wheels and we do not want them to stick out too much so we'll copy this we'll paste it onto the red one onto the back I mean and that looks pretty good on that side we'll come to this side and this side is out way way too much so we'll slide this in and let's see it looks like that's just about where the other one is on that side so we'll copy this we'll paste it over there and take a look at that the last thing that we will be doing today is the collisions now some of these trucks if you do not do them this could interfere with towing trailers so this we actually have to move in just a little and we have to move it forward so we'll move that forward awesome next we'll take this one we'll move it forward and I believe we have to move it in let's take a look we'll move it in just a little but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video building and converting this this truck looks awesome we will definitely be adding it to the lawn care shop but if you do have any cool modding ideas let me know down below in the comments thanks for watching and subscribe for more